everybody. Uh, hope everybody's doing pretty good. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today, and I'm gonna new. I'm gonna make my own. It's called the Tokyo rig, and uh, I can't seem to find it over here where where I live. So, sportsman where so I carry the rig, and uh, neither does Dick. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I decided I'm gonna make my own. So. A uh, little video here for you guys uh, to be able to see maybe you make your own instead of having to purchase them I mean, it's probably cost a little bit of money to buy this stuff up front But you'll be able to you know where you're gonna spend on buying one or two You know, you could probably make quite a bit. So uh, Anyway, uh, I just want to show you guys and let's see if we could uh, get this going here Thought I'd give this a try and do it myself, you know, and then I could make it my own length and Got my Second Amendment shirt on, right there, AR-15. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one out of here. This is actually my second attempt, I'll be honest with you guys, this is my second attempt at it. Uh, my first attempt, uh, I was doing it, I wanted a close-up shot, I was running two cameras, and the GoPro and this other camera that I just Got not long ago, a couple weeks ago, and I've been really studying a lot, trying to learn how to use it and stuff. And um, and um, it's been okay. Uh, my thing is, is just it's really it's a lot to use in these these uh, DSLRs, you know. I was uh, using it and everything, but the I bought a cord from the microphone down to the camera, and I had no audio. So when I went to play it back to listen to what I was actually recording I had no audio so kind of a bummer that happens I'm gonna try the small one um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now and see if I could get this started but I found out from the other one and having to make this video <laughs> is that it's a lot easier to put this piece on this wire first Gonna put the swivel on now. So I got this part done right here. You can see that that's on the split ring and this wire. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this swivel on there. And actually, I should have put some of the parts from the other video onto this one. It's kind of comical. You know, there's a couple times where I've drop the stuff, the, this wire flips out of my hands and goes that direction, uh, goes to the left, and then um, the, it's just, it's just comical. It looked like a comedy, do-it-yourself comedy hour. Damn, there goes one wire, it's already flipping around. But one thing I could say that I've honestly learned so far from doing the other one was do the, um, put that wire on there first. So this is actually my second one. Put the wire on there first, and then um, on the, onto the split ring. Then put your swivel, and then put your hook. But you got to watch out when you put your hook because a little bit ago when I did it, and I had it all done and everything, and I put the hook on, the hook was upside down. So I was like, "Oh, you dummy! Put the hook upside down." So I'm gonna get it right this time. Put the hook right. And there we go. It is, looks to me like it is backwards. I did it, I did it backwards. Oh my gosh, really, seriously? So don't do this at home. After I just mentioned about doing it backwards, and guess what, I do it backwards. Didn't do it on purpose. But I think you guys will be happy with the end results. See the end result. Okay, there it is. 
Welcome to I'm Hooked Comedy Hour and uh, don't do it yourself. So this is what it's going to look like. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let's get this weight on there. It'll make more sense in a minute. I'm going to go short with this one right here. Okay, bend that one right there like that. I'll take these pliers, the kind of pliers you have. It just happen to be what I have. And then I'm going to hold that right there and then I'm just going to turn that wire. Bend it down. Bend it down right there like that. And just turn it. That's all I need. All it is is holding the weight anyway. Take these over here. There you go, everybody. That's your Tokyo rig right there. Tokyo rig. I don't know if you can see it. But that's how it sits. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a few more with a couple different ideas that I have, and then I'm gonna lay them out for you guys to look at and see what you think about them. So give me a second, and I'm gonna get the rest of these appear, make the rest of these appear for you. Voila, and there they are. Tokyo rig. I see how it come, I mean, I don't know how they're gonna fish. You know, I've watched a lot of stuff with these things and they look pretty darn good um, on the videos I've seen. And, um, you know, they're just basically a glorified uh, <laughs> drop shot, so. But, you know, the thing is, you're keeping this weight closer to the hook. I mean, it, it keeps it, supposedly keeping it from getting tangled up. Um, I did one that was a little bit longer here and that's how I first started it with that wire right there that's kind of bent just bent you know then I got the went ahead and um, re um, twisted it around the other the, the wire itself you know maybe you can see it this one right here it's a pretty good example you seen that how I twisted it um, but I'm not sure I'm going to put that right there just to kind of hold it in the spot. Um, yeah, that's what it is. So I got a um, half ounce right there. These two are a half ounce. And um, this is 3 8 This is a tungsten weight with the glass bead. A little bit longer than this one right here, but not as long as that one. Maybe it is the same length. I don't know. Then I tried it with the Mojo to see how that would turn out. Um, Figured I'd try it with the mojo and then I went a little bit longer and put a egg sinker on there and see how it's gonna go. So these are supposed to be ran with a um, these are to be ran with uh, creature baits. A lizard, a brush hog, uh, bandito bug, um, a crawl, uh, maybe something with the crawl um, type uh, trailer. Um, you know and that's basically how they're supposed to be ran. I mean, it's the ground, I guess. And um, but uh, yeah, I want to see how it turns out. Um, I don't know if I'll catch anything right now this time of year, you know. But you know, it might be something for spring. It might be something for winter time. I mean, summertime. Excuse me. Um, I will try it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it next time I go out. But I wanted to do this little video. I've been really watching these videos, and I seen this the other day, and I thought, man, this would be good to do it. But yeah, this is what they look like. All of them, everything looks like. You know, it's not too bad. I don't know if I'm gonna lift them up so you can see them. Bring them up closer to the camera. Um, I don't know if that's getting a good 
zoom angle on it, you know, so it's kind of hard to tell if that looks good. I don't know, because I'm wearing a dark background, so that's one. So this is a little shorter one that I made. So. Here's a uh, Mojo. You know, I have these. This is a quarter ounce. I probably could put an eighth of an ounce. I have an eighth and an ounce. Eighth of an ounce, also, Mojo. And that might work pretty. A little bit. To me, it's a little bit more skinnier, a little bit smaller profile. You know. So. Here's the one with the bead, and a regular offset shank offset hook so I don't know if that's pretty noticeable there but with the bead so I'm figuring with this one as it moves and you're popping it I don't know if you could hear that it makes that little clicking noise you know makes that little clicking noise as you're bringing it it's supposed to imitate that with the bead and the weight it's supposed to imitate like a crawdad with their clip with their claws and there's a one with the barrel swivel I mean barrel barrel weight excuse me barrel weight so uh, it's real it's a real lightweight that's probably an eighth of an ounce as big as it is you know but dragging that on the bottom hopping it and stuff you know, so so see what happens you know um, anyway you know and they're probably gonna run probably seven eight dollars for a setup you know that's just the way it always is ten bucks for a setup so this thing i think i spent a total of i think i spent a dollar something on the beads a dollar 49 i want to say a dollar 29 um the weights they were they weren't very expensive half ounce weights dollar 79 or something i mean i spent a little bit more on the tungsten weights um there um the split rings were two something. Uh, these wires were actually uh, almost three dollars. And then I got my swivels. I've just got the Berkeley swivels. This is 80 pounds, so it'll work. I never, I've never, you know, people say you got to change this and you got to change that, and you know, I don't know. I had, I had these owner hooks already. I think I got the owner hooks at Walmart. I had these, and then uh, I did buy the troll car hooks because I needed some uh, uh, two odds anyway so um, but I did buy those and I think I paid the most for these I think they were for something so I mean I'm probably into a 15 bucks you know and I still have enough to make uh, well I got another weight there I got two there I still got three hooks on my troll cars and and then I still have these wires I probably have about five six more in there so I mean I'm gonna try it out see how it works you know I made different sizes you know this with the one thing with it's long like this if if I don't like the way the long uh, the way it's running long I could always shorten it up I could cut that end up and shorten it up shorten it up shorten it up to make it this size if I wanted to you know that's the thing with making it long you have that option of shortening it up once you're short like this you can't make it any longer unless I change the whole wire out but even then I mean it's not that hard to do you know this is just a regular bend in it right here but you know I didn't twist that one around like I did the other ones you know I thought about putting two beads you know so that way it's that's that it's got that clack you know when it's pulled through or shaken or you know sometimes I like to sit it there and just shake the bait so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments or anything about this, of anything that I've done here, uh, you know, or any questions about it, you know, or if you've tried it already and you know how you like it, you know the um, the Tokyo rig, you know, let me know in the comments, you know. And I'm sure that there's other subscribers here, other people here that subscribe to my channel. They would really, you know, I know I like to read a lot of the comments on from people, you know, and um, but I think there's a lot of people that might be able to use some of those comments, those little tips. So if you got any tips or comments or how to fish these or 
where to use it or you know is it better you know and what type of cover or rocks or um, grass or you know I you know leave me a comment down there on the bottom you know but if you like this uh, video you know uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching and I really appreciate it and uh, if you haven't you know subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell there and you'll get all the new videos that come out uh, but I wanted to get something out to you guys and I really been wanting to try this Tokyo rig and I, I just seen it the other day and I thought you know this is pretty cool I want to I want to try it out you got a do-it-yourself Tokyo rig thanks for watching I really appreciate it and thanks for subscribing to the channel I really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys next time out on the water and I will be throwing this and I will let you guys know how it works you know so I'll see you guys on the next video